Hey, what is up everybody? Mark from Big Blue Laser Designs here. And today I'm gonna to cover probably the one thing that's asked more than any other question, and that's this. Hey Mark, I got a file from you and I love it, but I need to adjust the sizes of the tabs and the slots because I'm using a different thickness of a material than what you used. Or maybe I'm using the same material you used, but your batch was a different thickness than mine and I've got to adjust it. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Illustrator. If you're using Inkscape or Affinity Designer or Corel, it's going to work just a little differently, but the concept's the same. And I'm going to show you how to edit one of the files that I have called the mini plant bench that's been very popular. But you can use this, of course, with any file that you want. So here's what you do. The first thing you do is find where the slots are that you need to change and click on the first item. Now you may find like this one where this uh, bench side piece is all grouped together and you can't get to the individual slot. Well, that's no problem. Click on it like I did and then right click and go to release compound path. Once you do that, you can now get to that particular slot and you're gonna need to do what we're, this next uh, couple set of actions here on each one of these slots to make sure you get them all, but it's actually really easy. So click on the first one and look right up here at the top and you're gonna see how wide and how high that slot is in inches or in whatever measurement you have your program set to. All you've got to do is change the height to whatever thickness your material is that you have measured. So let's say you want 0.115, just type that in and hit tab, and you see that it's automatically changed that slot to the size that you want. And then you just go through and do that same thing with all these. Make sure you don't move them because where they are sitting is important for everything to line up. But all you have to do is change the height of those items and you are good to go. Now, I recommend that when you get all done that you go and save this as a different file name just in case you need to get back to the original one. Don't overwrite this one. That would be my, my recommendation. So once you do that with all the slots, then you have to go and address all the tabs as well, because if you don't, they're gonna stick out the side of the item because they're too long. So this just takes one more step, and uh, this is the way I prefer to do it. There's a, a, a couple different ways to do it, but go up here and click on this filled arrow right here that's gonna allow you to adjust the nodes or the different uh, nodes here in the design. And what you're going to do is you're going to end up pulling this node down to the right height that you want and this one down to the right height. But there are two initial challenges. Number one, you need to go first and figure out what that height is or what that thickness of your material is and get that number. And then I have a tendency to not always pull these down in a straight line. So that's always been my challenge. So let me show you what I do that's just quick and easy. Maybe it's not the way the pros do it, but it works really great for me. I go and I get the rectangle tool. And I go over here and I make a rectangle that's the same size as this particular tab is now, okay? And then once I've made that rectangle, I move it out over here to get out of the way. And now I adjust this, uh, the height of this, I don't mess with the width, and adjust it to the height again of what I want. So whatever you're saying you need, let's say it's uh, 118 or something like that. So now you've got this rectangle at the height you need. And I put this guy right back over here and I put it down aligned with where I need it to be. And then I take my rulers and pull out a line, a guideline, and sit it right there. You probably see where I'm going with this. Now I can delete this if I want to. And now I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna grab this node right here, double click on it, and I'm gonna pull it down until it hits right on that line. And I'm gonna pull this one down until it hit right, hits right on that line. But that's all it takes to get those tabs uh, the way that you need them. Once you're done, I, again, I recommend that you save it uh, under a new file name just so you don't mess up the old one just in case. But it really takes just a few minutes to work around and adjust all of those to fit your materials. I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or hit me up in the Facebook group and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Have a great day.